Hi, this video will review how to use Proctor View Review Class. So how does Proctor View Review Class work? First of all, the instructor is going to need to set up his or her exam in D2L as normal and make sure to input a password into the D2L exam, but don't tell the student. The instructor will then need to create and log into their Proctor U account and then they'll need to fill out the Proctor U form. They'll choose a create an exam and fill out the form there. After they fill out the form and submit it, the instructor should receive an email in 24 to 48 hours from Proctor U saying that the Proctor U exam has been activated in the system. At that point, students can begin making their appointments to take the exam through Proctor U. The students will then need to create and log into their Proctor U account and pick a date and time to take their exam when the exam window is open in D2L. They will then need to pay for the exam using their access code. And if you do not have an access code, um, you need to, the instructor will need to email Ashley Travis or Rick Calhoun um, to be able to get a set of access codes. You'll need to uh, tell them how many access codes you need, and they will send you the access codes and you can give those out to your students. So then the students uh, will need to pick an appointment time after they pay for the exam using their access code. Before their appointment time, it is important that the students test their equipment using the test it out link here, and that's going to make sure that their equipment is working properly for them to use ProctorU to take their exam. At the time of the appointment, the student will need to log into D2L and ProctorU. There will be a button that says connect to the proctor, so they'll need to connect to their proctor and ProctorU. And then the proctor will walk them through the room and ID check. The proctor will also input the password into D2L for the student. And then the proctor you will actually fall off of the, uh, the, the, the meeting so that the student can complete their exam. Now, the rest of the time, the, uh, as the student is completing the exam, it is being recorded and reviewed by proctors. And so if there are any issues during the time when the student is completing the exam, the instructor will receive an email about that. So what are some things the students need to know? First of all, they need to know that they must have a webcam and a microphone on their computer. They can use a desktop or a laptop. They cannot use mobile devices, tablets, phones, or Chromebooks to test using Review Class. They also need to use Firefox or Chrome browser. They cannot use Safari or Internet Explorer or Internet Edge. The student is, will need to test out their equipment a day before the exam at the Test It Out link to make sure their equipment is working properly. The student should also log into their ProctorU account about 10 minutes before the exam starts so they can go ahead and connect to their proctor. What does the instructor need to know or do? They need to make sure to complete the ProctorU form as soon as possible so that the students can go ahead and book their appointment as soon as possible. If the student has any trouble connecting to a proctor during the exam, they can log into their ProctorU account and there is going to be a chat message area in the bottom right corner and they can talk to an agent. When they talk to the agent, they need to make sure that um, they tell the agent that they are using Record Class. So ask the instructor to fill out the ProctorU form. You would need to log in to D2L and choose ProctorU up here on the top nav bar. And create your account if you um, don't already have an account, but if so, you just want to log into your account. And then you want to come over here to the side and choose Add New. And you want to add a new exam. So here you want to fill out the exam title. You want to make sure that it is the exact title as what it is in um, D2L. And you want to include your name as well as the semester to make sure it's easy for the instructor to search. So you might want to include your name, the name of the class, the semester, and then the name of what it is named in D2L so that there aren't any questions as to whether or not this is the correct exam. Very important, for the department, you don't want to pick your academic department in this case. When you're using Review Plus exams, you want to make sure to put it in the Review Plus exam category. And that's going to uh, let the let Proctor U know that it's a Review Plus exam, as well as allow those access codes to work. And so then you just want to scroll on down, and you just want to fill this out. Fill out the term, how long uh, the students are given to take the exam. For the exam URL, you can just say D2L, um, and then that way they'll know uh, that the exam's in D2L. 
this is where you put the exam password. This is how the instructor or the proctors are going to know where the exam password is. Um, you do not need to tell the students the password. And then you can just continue on with um, under here terms of service. This is a great place to put if any students have ADA accommodations and will be getting longer uh, amounts of time for testing. You can add that here. And then you choose what resources are permitted, um, as well as any special notes, your contact information, as well as putting in the time window. Now, very important for the time window, you want to back up the time window um, about 30 minutes. So in D2L, if you say that the last, that the exam's gonna last from six o'clock to 11 o'clock, that's the window of time. You want to put the last appointment time at about 1030 because that will give the, uh, if they book the 1030 appointment, you want to give them enough time to connect to the proctor and get into the D2L exam by 11 o'clock. So you don't want the appointment time to be 11 o'clock if that's the last time that they can start the exam because they're going to have to connect to the proctor first before they can actually get into the exam. So you want to back it up by 30 minutes. So in D2L, if your appointment is, if your appointment, if your exam time is between 8 and 11, you would put here between 8 and 1030. And then at that point, you're going to submit it for review. And then you should get an email within 24 to 48 hours saying that the exam now, the exam is live in Proctor View and the students can go in there and schedule um, a time and a day to take that exam. You also, again, at this point, want to make sure that your D2L exam is completely set up. So you want to make sure that it has the name, it's connected to a grade item, and it has the testing window, it has a password, and it has a time limit. You also want to make sure that you've put in any ADA accommodations, giving them that special access if necessary. Once the Proctor U form has went live in Proctor U, um, you can let the students know that they can go ahead and go in and book their appointment. So they'll log into D2L, choose Proctor U from the top nav bar, create and log into their Proctor U account. From here, they'll see this screen. They want to schedule a new session, and then they would need to pick their college, their term, and their exam. And this is where it's important um, that it has all the information needed, so they'll be able to pick the exact exam that they need. Then they'll be able to find sessions, and it will give them sessions of when they can take the exam. And so this is going to be based upon their time window. So they can pick any of the times when they're available. And then they'll just select that time and schedule it. And then they'll just proceed to the cart. And at this point, this is where they're going to put in their access code that um, you will have given to them. And again, if you don't have access code, you need to email Rick Calhoun or Ashley Travis. Tell them how many uh, you need, and then they'll send you however many, and you need to divvy those out to the students. And so when you give them to the students, that's the access code that they're going to use. And then they will proceed to payment and pay for their exam. Now, when it is time for them to take their exam, so Fast forward in time, it's time for them to take their exam. They are going to log back into their ProctorU account. And then they will see um, their active exams and it will uh, give them a button to go ahead and um, connect to a proctor. And they'll be able to, there'll be a button that says connect to a proctor when it's the time of their appointment and they'll be able to connect to the proctor there. This is also where they can get, log in and test their equipment. So they want to do this a day or so before the exam. They just want to come in and make sure their microphone and webcam and all that jazz is working. And it'll let them know um, if, if something isn't working appropriately. So they do want to do that before uh, a day or so before their exam. So again, the student process is to, number one, book their appointment. And then number two, go ahead and test their, um, their equipment the day before or so the exam, and then go ahead and number three, connect um, to log into their proctor view, connect with the proctor and take their exam.